something. Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. We are. He's Dan O'Shawn. Tonight, yep. I probably murder Dan. Maybe. But maybe not because we have an old Forrester 1 House 17, a Ceres, Vintage 2021. Yep, I guess. Roll it. So, thanks to Straight Up hey, Bourbon. You're cut off. You're cut off. Thanks to Straight Up Bourbon for sending this and helping us obtain it. Douge, a douge, a douge, a douge, a douge. You know what I mean? Put the explosions in. Put them in. I'm not gonna do that. He sent this. I'm not. Doing you have to explode it. Nope. That's the rules. Nope. That's it. that's are the rules. Okay. That is not English. So this is. Old Forester, ugh, 117. <laughs> Ew. Okay, can I tell you, oh, can I tell you my hopes for this? Very high. I bet. Didn't know it was a 375 till like a week ago. I don't know if this is true or not, but I think it is. I think this is the first bottle of Old Forester that's sold with a woman's signature on it. Yeah, Jackie put her signature on it because Jackie's an amazing person and the greatest person in whiskey period at this point in my life. Yeah, I, I'll go with it. Why half not? of that's right, half it's wrong. Sure. Jackie's amazing. That's pretty much what we could have summed that up to. Yeah, thank you. <clears throat> so I've the one, everything you said before. The, one, the 117 series is actually named 117 because it's their address. It's their old address. Not because it's the proof. No, that's 110. And you know what? I love a nice 110 proof. It should. I don't like the name of this bottle. I just think it's silly. I don't fully understand why you would name a whiskey an address. Because it's whiskey. You got to have heritage to go with everything. This, already on the nose, some Masharuskis, the 115s. Okay. Not even close on the nose. The 115s. You're talking All 1920? three of them. Oh, 150s? the 150th? Oh my gosh. Anyways, so these bottles only come in 375s, they're $50 retail. Now you don't think that's gonna make the cut? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of a bummer they're only 375. It is, because I would really enjoy a, a whole fifth of this. Um, to what Dan was talking about earlier, I do believe the nose is better than the old 150th. 50th. <laughs> Listen, there was a one and a five, so I wasn't 100% off. You were- I was 100% on. It's, it's like a, a nice, rich, burnt caramel. Delicious. Why? I just wanna see. It's literally just a mini bottle. Yeah. That's really cool. I think this is like the most like dark fruit I've ever gotten on an old, old Forrester product. Oh really? Gosh, like, I- dude. It smells incredible. Maybe on some of the, the Jack Daniels barrel proof stuff, I've gotten like some, some plummy notes, but this is this is singing to me. Dan will eventually say words. Cinnamon. Oak. Oak? Yeah, there's oak. I thought you said oat at first. Oat? No, <laughs> oak with a K. Um, <laughs> okay, heard. Oak A. Man, it smells fantastic. Cinnamon yes. French toast with a nice drizzled syrup. Really good breakfast. It's super sweet. Maybe you took like a nice pre-burnt toast, I'm gonna call it. You slap, it's buttered pre-burnt toast, and then you slathered a little blackberry jam on her. This smells better than the old Forcer birthday bourbons to me, off the top of my head. It smells better than the old 150s, off the top of my head. I thought you were gonna just smack it out of my hand. I'm like, that is not nice. This is an irreplaceable glass. <laughs> you know, one of those, oh my. Gosh, that's good. Yeah, this is one. Oh my. I think this is honestly one of the better products that's ever come out of Old Forester. Brown Foreman, Scratch Old Forester, the whole parent company. Okay. I mean, all oh, the proof is so, this is exactly what everybody wants birthday bourbons to be. You know that? I guess, This yeah. is 100% because there's, the added proof is very well. It's got that like, um, sugar sweetness up front yeah. and it just kind of it feels like it, there's cotton candy that melts on your tongue and it just coats your mouth in sugar it's good it's so good that dark fruit that uh like blackberry plum note kind of comes through a little fig maybe oh it's like if it's like if you you if you combined a stewed God. fruits flavor because with that rich like jammy that really rich stone fruit with just a tiny hit of like a lightness of a fruit cocktail syrup. That's where you're getting the sugar from, right? So you get that like delicate, light, fruity sugar from like a fruit cocktail syrup. And then you mix it with these really dark, rich, flavorful, juicy fruits. Oh my gosh, that's incredible. That, I don't know if it's as good as President's Choice. It'd be a cool blind. I mean, it's, it's 
that's so much more oaky. Um, like sure. that sweet oak. This feels. They're <sighs> almost the exact same proof. But I, I think those ones taste oakier than this is. Like I don't get that crazy oak back end that yeah. I, I think of for a president's choice. No, I don't either. But I'm saying like you can like one more than the other, right? That's fair. I, I'm not saying they're the same. I'm just saying our favorite product from Old Forester ever has been President's Choice. You know, actually the more I think about it, this reminds me if you took George T. Stagg and add a little bit of water. But but it doesn't flatten it. That's the weird part. Yeah. We've added water to George T. Stagg's before it, and it's yeah. flattened the finish a, a lot. But that's what it reminds me of. This is like classic bourbon. Really well done, but classic bourbon. Up front is oak. What's that fruit? Maybe pear? Like right up front, there's a tiny hint of like a brown form and nuttiness. Obviously some banana I'd say on the palate. You don't get pear? No. Front of the tongue. Like fast, like that. No. Just gone. Banana is like that. On the back. Banana's on the back. It's like mid. Don't say pear. There's it's not a nice, finish. There's not a ton of caramel. Mm -mm. It's I, so fruity and good though. Dark fruit. Oh, Stewed it's fruit. so Delicious good. Delicious fruit. Fruit. Huh. So everybody's complaining because this is a $50 bottle and it's a 375. Yeah. You know what people didn't complain about? WB Saffle being a $50 375 from Turkey. It's well, kind of from Turkey. Saffle. It, I mean, we're not even, we're talking literally the sun to Pluto, right? Now, which is which? Saffle would be Pluto because it's smaller and not a real planet. So the, the entirety the of the world is now revolving around this bottle. As it should, yeah. Okay. We have to talk about how this is actually cheaper mm -hmm. than President's Choice, yep. 1 50th, and Birthday Bourbon. About the same availability. No, it's way worse for availability than 1 50th and Birthday, because it's distillery only. It's not distributed at all. So it's way worse. <clears throat> but mm. that's $100, 750 mm -hmm. realistically. This is 175 retail, President's Choice. These were 150 retail, the 150th. And the Birthday Bourbons are 130 retail. This might be our favorite one and it's the cheapest. Yeah. What's I mean, your grade? I was ready to grade it. Yeah, go ahead. I don't care about the pricing. I know, but that's important to take into consideration that they just put out a new release. It's an A plus. Everybody says this is a gimmick. A lot of people are saying this is a gimmick. It's an A plus. Not a gimmick. It's one of the best whiskeys they've ever put out. A plus. I give it an S plus, which is higher than an A. I see that. One of the greatest grades of all time I've ever given is this bottle. You... I, higher than King Kentucky? No, but that, well, that's a $250 bottle. Uh, but this is $100. All I needed was the no. Okay, thank you. The BTAC is 100 bucks. It don't say that's the highest bucks. grade I've ever given. And then. We're the bur bur bourbon junkies. No. Proof's in the bar. And the video. No. no. Thank you, straight up. This is a great bottle of whiskey. I love it. Like, Buy it. comment, subscribe. Damn quit. Proof's in the bar.